G'day and welcome back. Uh, a few weeks ago I made a start on the faceplate table. Uh, at the time I was crooked with the flu and just wasn't really in the mood for doing really anything. But I did make the bolts that you'll see in the start of the video. Uh, I showed making one. I went down to the local bolt joint here and tried to buy some 20 by 1.5 I think they are, yeah, 20 by 1.5 bolts, they didn't have any so I just come home and build them. So you'll see that in the start of the video, it's a little bit disjointed but it's the way it is. And then I go on to making the, the threaded bar, 2 inch threaded bar, I had to make it out of 2 and a half inch bar originally. Now, Yes, I could have went two and a half inch thread, but I didn't have enough bigger material to make the nuts out of. Yeah, two and a half inch material to have a decent sidewall, because these are going to get welded into a square tube. That's why I went with the two inch, and it's going to be plenty strong enough. So I show, in this video, I show making just the one bolt. I uh, made four in total and making the, the threaded bar with a 500 mil long thread on it and one of the, the nuts. I know it's a bit disjointed but it's I've been doing it over a few weeks and that's the way it is. And hopefully next week I'll have that table pretty much completed, probably all bar the cast is on the bottom at this stage. So that's what I'm hoping for. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, certainly not one of my better ones, but cutting this thread was a massive challenge. I've never cut a thread that long. And um, I'm, it's not the world's best thread, but it works. Yeah, it'll be right. But I hope you've enjoyed. Now I've got to turn this portion down to 19.8, I think it is, for the um, thread. Shooting for 19.88. Be right, close enough. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. End of the lines where I'm going to stop the thread. See how we go. I had a 20 by 1.5 tap, so I made a like a go no go gauge. Uh, just a fraction more. Uh, 
that's good I just went and cut that off in the bandsaw about three mil too long there just got to cut that off Now we'll go over the mill and put the hex on. Okay, I've got um, sitting in a collar block and a hex block, and I have to put that back there for starters. So, dummy sums, I've got a depth of cut of 2.42 millimeters. I have touched off as well. So, I'll dial that in and then make a start on it. bit loose but it's all right just want to put it back in the lathe and just knock these sharp corners off that's it it's not too bad they only really got to do up once and that's it so, I know they're not hardened, but they're going to do the job. What we got here is, or what is going to be, if I can make it happen, is the threaded bar for the adjustment on the faceplate table. So off camera yesterday I stuffed down and made a nut. So there's going to be two of these. That will be 200 mil apart with a spacer in between obviously and 500 mil of thread so you're going to have um, 300 mil of height adjustment so I made up a um, thread yesterday so I can yeah, check myself make sure because it's an ATPI thread I can't go any coarser with the inserts I have I would have loved to have gone a 4 TPI thread, but the inserts I've got for both internal and external don't allow me to do a 4. Over the whole length, from here to here, I've got one thou discrepancy. That was an ordeal. 
what you've seen then, that last bit was, yeah, that's, it was a final cut. But, as you've seen in the clip or two before, it was cut and perfect. No dramas in whatsoever, no sign of chatter. After I turned the camera off, I thought, oh, bugger it. It's getting close to the final dimension. I'll flip the tip around and just do the right thing, you know. So, done that. Instant chatter. Big time. So you can see on the end here, it's, I've machined it down a fair way, trial and error. And in the end, I end up having to put the follow steady on. For some reason, it got down to a certain point, just wanted to chatter like a mongrel. But, that's the way it is. We end up getting past it. And, um, we're back to good. I didn't change anything. Um, or by the insert it's actually stuck off camera I turned the insert back didn't make any difference still wanted to chatter I don't know whether it just got down to a certain diameter where the harmonic started I don't know what it is but a lot of it I think is to do with this life center it's yeah she's pretty ordinary anyway I'm going to cut the thread on here now so it's an ATPI thread. I oh, know, I've just done a little test there, but we are definitely on ATPI because I don't want to thread this and realise it's wrong halfway through. This will be the longest thread I've ever done. Super light cuts, and all I can do. I really put it down to that tailstock center. It's just, it hasn't got the rigidity. That's it. It's not the nicest of threads, but it's going to do the job. Okay, I just had a hunt around and found another bit of material I can get a nut out of. Now, I originally wanted to make a nut that was larger for the last inch in diameter and be able to split it and make a locking, like a clamp nut. But I haven't got any material big enough to do it, so I'm going to have to come up with another way later. So I just need another nut now.
Okay, I've got a fair way to bore this out. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys at all with this. It is what it is. I'll bring this back when I'm getting close to final dimension. But that, that drill actually made a very nice hole. Okay, down to our final cut. I think the um, this is fairly hard material, so I'm really not sure how it's actually going to go cutting the thread in here. It's a beautiful finish. Absolutely beautiful. So I measured the last nut I made and I set the vernius to that. So with the absolute incremental. It's just starting to touch. We're right on it. I'm stoked with that. Put a lead on that. Swap over to a um, thread and bar. Clean the lead screw and then cut the thread. Little scratch pass, make sure I got everything set right. Um, it's gonna take a while to do. That's wrong. Cause that's nine. I'd have me shitting bricks for a minute. That looks better. It does help if you have the right bloody gauge <laughs> Just gotta wait for the number to come back around each time only start on number four no i won't make a mistake Put you guys on a time lapse because it's going to take a while. Okay, that's done. Now it is a bit loose, which I'm kind of happy about. So if there is any misalignment when I go to weld these in to the square tube. Hopefully it'll counteract, like it's certainly not going to slip or give any trouble. Just a bit loose, that's all. Shouldn't have taken that last two cuts, but anyway. That nut is done.